Hey, today we're going to be showing you this little alcohol burner we got from Trailblazer in the next gear review. Alright, so, uh, this past month we did get this little alcohol burner from our Mystery SHTF box. Now, as you can see, not leaking, however, it does have, you, so you can store it full of alcohol. Now, the wonderful thing about an alcohol burner is that it's safe to burn inside. Alright, and then alcohol in there we are going to be using our little pan that we got from our apaca box all right and however how are we going to how are we going to boil any water on it right i have this that i made out of a tomato sauce can just use a nail put some vent holes in it and this thing slides down perfectly over the top of this burner so all right, so now this alcohol burner, this is made of brass, so it's very well built, not aluminum. This is, this is a pretty well built little burner here. Now, I'm just gonna use a lighter today because again, we're inside, you know, and let's say, okay, so we're in a survival situation. You wanna have a nice light, small stove, small, it doesn't have a big footprint. It doesn't require a lot of carrying around and to be honest, rubbing alcohol, pretty easy to find even in a bad situation. But you can stock up on it and you'll be ready to go. So, got our lighter. We're gonna get this lit up and we're gonna see if it, what it does. All right, so there's a little bit on the edge. We'll let that cook down just a little bit. Okay, it is rather full, but I mean, it's designed to store alcohol in it. You can hear that burning off nicely. Some nice little heat. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add our our homemade spacer. So now, as you can see, now we're able to put a cover on it so we can boil water. Next up, we do have our apaca box. All right, have some water here, just regular water. All right, this would be enough to make like a pot of coffee, maybe take a bouillon cube, you know, because you're in a survival situation, you're wore out, you need to get some something warm inside of your body. All right, now then, sets down on it. All right, I don't have enough air holes in that. Okay, so I have to put some more air holes in it. Obviously it did not work, but that's part of the beauty of, of trying things out. But here we have a snuffer. Puts it out so that you can safely, lights up nicely. Now as you see, if you put that directly on there, it's gonna go out. So, definitely gonna have to make a better, um, I'm gonna have to make like a, a cage to go over this so that it doesn't go out. Cause there's just not enough air getting in there. At all. So, definitely have to work on my, uh, I have to definitely work on my DIY spacer. I have some ideas though. If I can make just like a couple, just raise it up just a little bit, we should be all right. It's just it's too much to, the oxygen is getting put out too much. But that is a review of my spacer, which is not the issue. The stove here works beautifully. Lights up nicely. 
it does put off heat I mean you know you could probably hold this and get it to boil but it's gonna you know it might take several minutes this can get get tiring so um, we're definitely gonna work on making a better I don't know what you call this but we're gonna make a better one of these so that when we put it on there we can actually cook stuff but it puts off enough heat puts off a little bit of light observe so as you can see you do have a nice little alcohol burner stove in here and even with you know and this is even with this now granted harder to snuff it this way well not really so I just have to work I just have to work on my my spacer there a little bit maybe get a little bit I need to be able to need to get more oxygen in there so we'll come back on that we're gonna do a follow-up on my on my on the DIY it is hot we'll do a follow-up on that but as far as the alcohol burner goes as far as this little alcohol burner goes from and it's not hot it's not hot so as you can see inside the rim there you do have a black seal so it 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 goes down really nicely this is not terribly hot so you can close it up put it back in and then if we're doing things correctly right we'll put our water back into our cup there but a lot of times when you are packing like a any type of pack for like survival or anything you want you gotta be able to make the most use out of all of your space and that's that's one reason why i do like this this one that we got from from the apaca box because it folds down nicely but the stove will fit down inside of it just like so i mean it's like pretty much flush so all we gotta do is maybe i'll get like a a, a larger one of these so it'll go all the way around the burner maybe a tuna can or something now that's probably just sit on the edge but we'll figure something out we're gonna work on these we're gonna make one i would like to make one that's gonna fit inside of this so that we can make a nice compact cook set but as you can see this little alcohol this brass this brass alcohol burner doesn't leak it works nicely it does come with a a nice means to put it out that even folds down just like so you even like put a ranger band across this to hold it down but I think all in all this little alcohol burner that we got from Trailblazer in our SHTF box it's a pretty good little burner um, again uh, we will revisit this uh, we'll, we'll make we'll, we'll we'll perfect this so that this works with this very nicely because in that way we can test and we can see how long it takes to boil water using this little alcohol stove but so far I gotta tell you and I'm not affiliated with SHT uh, with uh, Sage Cadell I'm not affiliated with Trailblazer but this little alcohol burner this is a good little stove and um, I'm glad we got it that's gonna make its way into the survival kit all right so if this is your first time on the channel please consider subscribing um, if you're already subscribed, please do me a favor, hit that like button, share this out, leave me a comment, do all that good stuff. Push this video out to more people. Um, tell me what you think about this. Um, let me double check one thing here real fast. So, just want to double check, make sure it's alright. So, $16.99. So, for $17, what do you think? I think for $17 to have a a alcohol tight, compact, brass alcohol stove that'll fit in your pack, folds up nicely. I think $17 is not too bad of a price considering it does do what it's supposed to do. And it's pretty good. Granted, you can make these out of aluminum cans, which we may do sometime on the channel. But as of right now, I'm glad we got this. This is a nice little alcohol burner. Alright, until next time, keep prepping.